Hello everyone. Yes, definitely the M1 Pro can gain. I'm going to show you this uh, by installing the Witcher 3 game from CD Projekt. And we will be using uh, something called Porting Kit. And this is a piece of software that you can download for free. And it allows us to run uh, Windows games in uh, our Macs. I already have the Witcher 3 uh, downloaded and uh, I saved it in here on my desktop. I took it from another PC that I had so I didn't have to download all the installers. If you download the installers it will be even easier to process. And you see here I have the full game uh, into one folder. Let's go and launch the porting kit. Uh, so go to the launcher and find it where you installed it. Mine is in my games folder already. Not showing you how to install porting kit. I will leave the website uh, link down below, but it's fairly easy. Should come up, uh, and, and what we'll do now is once it's up, uh, go into library. Now we find uh, the port that was done already for the Witcher, so just type in Witcher uh, or something around. Should be able to find uh, the pre made port. Click on the icon there. So we want the uh, Witcher 3. From there, just click on install. And you'll see the magic starting. Uh, it's telling you that you should download first uh, the, the installers from GOG. I'm not going to do that, but if you do that, the process is going to be even easier. There's one step less for you. So here, the installer has started. I just keep uh, hitting next. Uh, next again. I'm pretty fine where it's going to install, so it's going to create another new application folders on my Mac. Click install there. And here what you'll see is what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select my game exe or the executable for my game instead of the installer because I don't have the installer with me. So go to the desktop, open the folder for the Witcher 3, open a folder called bin. And then uh, you'll see there's another folder called x64. Inside there, you should have the executable for the game. So the Witcher 3 exe is there. Just click that one. And then the, the installer uh, is going to work. The porting kit the installer is working and it's creating the wrapper. Uh, it's a wine wrapper. And that will allow us to play uh, Windows games under our, or inside our Macs, under Mac OS. So let it run. Uh, once it gets to the EXE, it's going to run my EXE, which is actually the game. So it's going to go into the game and then we can get out of the game and that should complete uh, this part of the process. Importing kit is actually creating a wine wrapper, uh, which will allow us to play the game, uh, Windows game in this case, on inside our Macs. Just wait a little bit. Uh, now it's starting to run the Witcher 3 executable file, which will then uh, take us into the game. So yeah, there we go into the game. Let's skip this. Just skip and go out of the game. Again, if you have the installer, you're not going to do that. You're just going to follow the normal installer process. Now it's closing the game. Uh, it's going to ask for where is the game executable file. Uh, so I'm going to find that uh, here. So let's find that executable file again. It's on the desktop still. Bin x64. And then we have again the Witcher 3 exe file. Click on open. It finishes. We close the process. It's still not going to work. So we have to go in more. Advanced tools. Let's go all the way up. Launch Wine Skin app. So here's to fix because we couldn't uh, do it with the installer. So go into advanced. You see it's not pointing in the right file. We also want to move the file from uh, the folder from the desktop into the Wine uh, wrapper folder. So let's find it again. It's on the desktop, just select the folder, choose, so now that will move it in. And then we have to fix the Windows EXE. Uh, yeah, close and browse.
here we go, uh, find it again, now it's under program files, under RC, it's a virtual C, Witcher, go into the bin, go into the x64 and find the executable for the game, Witcher 3 EXE, perfect. And now we close, it's good to go. So now we can test the game. Need a bit of patience, but uh, soon we'll be inside the game. Everything went well. We had to do that last step because we didn't use the installer file. Because I, I kind of cheated. Uh, I used the file I had already pre-downloaded and pre-installed. It saved me some time. Game starts. Uh, you can see it works. So let's just uh, go ahead and uh, get out of here. So exit. It's installed. So click right. Show in Finder. And you see, we also have it there into the application. So you can always go from the launch pad. Let me bring that into my games folder instead. So I get organized. So here I can launch it from here. Like you would launch any other application. You don't even need to open the porting kit again until you want to start another game from there. Again, it should take us into the game. Yes, there we go. Let's skip this. Uh, starting screen let's go into the game now and you see in the game yeah i'm using 1920 by 1200 in terms of resolution i like uh, to take the benefit of this great screen but i will get around 60 fps inside the game uh, 54 56 yeah around 60 when it stabilizes well play with your settings uh if you want to know more about my settings, just write down below. I'll be happy to help you out. Hope you enjoyed the game. Uh, if this video does help you in any way, please uh, mind a, a little like there. That would really help me out. And uh, other than that, I hope that you can enjoy the game. Check out the, the porting kit. There's lots of other games from Windows that we can use. And uh, stay safe. Uh, and I hope to see you soon. Take care. Bye.